the Melbourne Football Club's had some real tragic stories around, but I'm, I think there's none bigger than Jim. And I see it in my football jumper. I've got, I'm lucky to wear number 11. For those that know Jim, that was his number. And I can just look at that before every game. Last night, I looked at the 11. I had a shocker last, last night, but I look at that 11 and I go, it's okay. Life goes on, football's football. I come back, I got to see my beautiful four month kid in the change room straight after the game. And I feel like that's how Jim lives on throughout a football club. He's made you realize that reality is a whole different thing. Like football's one thing, but then there's a life outside and there's been the best versions of yourself. It was awesome um, being able to actually like go through the banner and feel what an AFL football player would have felt. You can just tell the legacy that he's brought through um, and especially being a young facilitator, continuing his work, it just means the world for me. The Reach community is awesome. Um, we have, we're all so supported with one another. Um, we back each other in um, and that's the reason why I'm still at the joint is because you know they empower me to do the best and I empower them to do the best um, so it's quite a beautiful community tight-knit community so yeah it's awesome it was beautiful to see everyone embracing Jim and what he was about because obviously life goes on and we all have to get on with our lives and we've got different factors at play so to just stop and reflect and remember and re-anchor about what Jim meant to all of us and what he taught us was a very special moment and I'm just so thrilled that moving forward, uh, I've, I do, I feel that a lot of us um, have rebonded and we'll be working together in this sort of mini army to you know, hopefully um, do good for the community and young people around Melbourne and, and Australia.